love bugs this is Rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos really, truly resonate with you, please drop a line. You know, share, give a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Sending you so many beautiful vibes of upliftment and protection as always. My, you know, my, my, um spiritual image as well as my essence you know my signature everything is divinely protected and highly favored so whatever you're trying to do with hidden intent motives or whatever it's coming back to you 10 times fold it's up with mine it's going to be love blessings and healing and upliftment um it upliftment much love to you as well um and the video i'm doing today is like twin flame 101 hey oh because why people uh when people doesn't like you uh when people does uh don't like you uh for no reason your fierce flight favor is creating uh creates uh to irritate enemies it's true you know a lot of time people try to understand you know how you have gone through so many different things and um you really you know get you you can still find love kindness out into the world because you were built different okay you were really built different uh to go through different things like that you know a lot of times it's like people really people want your story i mean people want your glory but don't want your story they don't know what you go through behind the scenes like i tell people i only know what i only want you to know what i want to tell you i tell you what i want you to know you know they don't know what goes on behind closed doors you don't know behind that you know there'll be every once in a while i'll allow myself to be vulnerable to a certain extent and it's not for attention it's not for likes and like whoa woe is me to get pity or nothing like that but just to show people i do resonate with the pain that you go through even though we're going we're all going through the same thing is that we got different scenarios you're having to go through forgiveness you have to go through acceptance you have to go through you know allowing your Yourself to let go of things that are no longer serving you allowing yourself to let things be just because this is not your story people will put you into a character of something that don't even fit your nature but if there's people that want they, a lot of times people don't like your vibration so they create somebody to see people see you how other people see you like there will be some times where people will be in that low vibration and will really get on that paddy wagon but then it'll be that part you know that time well, that person will get to that point where they talk about you so much. And people are like, let, let me go see what this person is talking about. And they're like, oh, that person is bitter. Oh, that person, it, oh, th that person is intimidated. Or that person fears that person. Now I see why they talk bad about them like that. Because they don't like the fact that how their, their demons are irritated by that person's life. They try to understand, you know, how come they, they, they throw you to the wolves. You come back leading the pack. There's a lot of times people don't like you when you're doing that, but you have to allow yourself to keep going. I had to go to that, get towards that vibe where I used to, it used to really bother me when, um, you know, uh, being seen a certain way. But now I got to that point where I had to really heal myself and not worry, you know, about what is being said out there about me or how people feel about me. Because it's like, you know, if I know I'm keeping it real you know, it's, it's going to be that vibe where people are just not going to understand me. Or there are going to be different times where uh, people are just not going to like me. I already know I'm not everybody's cup of tea and I had to really be okay with that. And you have to be at that vibe of really being that way when you know you're you're giving it your all. You're allowing yourself to be positive. You're allowing yourself to be real and transparent to the fullest. There are going to be certain things that people are just not going to like about that. You know, because some people, you know, what they use, for example, when people feel like their life ain't worth really, you know, something to where it's really going to be getting this people's attention. They'll add on extra things about certain things with other people, you know, just be able to get that because they know within their life is either going to be drama or it's just going to be very boring. You know, they don't want, you know, people seeing that and that's okay. And be just like me, I, I'm, I, I like my life very simple. <laughs> you know, just very simple. I like my life being simple. And, you know, I had to grow my own backbone. 
allowing myself not to be manipulated, allowing myself to be okay with people not liking me, allowing myself to understand where everybody don't know my story and everybody ain't got to understand my path. That's fine as long as I don't understand it. Half of the time, when God lead me there, I don't even understand it half of the time. I have to really go through the trenches to really understand what God is telling me. But it, it's just at that point, you're going to have different people that are going to wish the worst on you and they're really going to try to understand how are you able to make it this far. And you're going to be going through that. And it's just like, you don't even have to be, you know, just really putting it out there. Just allow your, let your essence to speak for yourself. You're your own advertisement. You know, you're your own advertisement. You are the one supposed to have yourself in high regards. Having your, you regardless on anybody who don't respect you, you don't have to allow yourself to entertain that. But as long as you respect you, that's what really matters. But you're going through these different things where people are really trying to understand, you know, why you try to understand why people just don't like you. And it will be different times where, you know, you're speaking truth and a lot of things don't happen that way. You notice just like in the world when I notice that when there is different things where people are about to project some kind of truth. All of a sudden you already notice they, they disappear. You don't hear from them no more. They're mistakenly, they're, they're, they've been knowing God's Wi-Fi. You know, be different terms of that because it'll be different things. It's like, I've been seeing different videos lately when they were talking about different comedians. They've been talking about it. All of a sudden this person had, you know, they know God's Wi-Fi now. They're not here anymore. Or that person became up. You know, they went from just being fine. And next thing you know, critical condition. Next thing you know, they're no longer living. You know, or they're about to speak on some things that where they really need to get it off their chest. Next thing you know, boom. Person come up, not here anymore. And you have to understand. It, it's like there's a lot of different things out here where people don't want that kind of truth that comes out. Because it can really damage a lot of people's character. You know, creds. They street creds. They don't want stuff like that to happen. But if it's you where you're still that one that's still here. You know, you have to allow yourself. Don't allow yourself to be, you know, uh, become scared or frigid when people are, are clapping back at you for no reason. I, I've seen people come up with the most stupidest comments. And I, you know, sometimes, and you know, when I first started, that really hurt me. Now I'm just like, oh, you must, you, you, you got irritated by my truth. So you had to come out and bring something negative into my life because you didn't like what was right about me. Okay. Block. <laughs> you know, I ain't got to do it. Because it'll be sometimes I'll respond to it, you know, and be saying, okay, you're you're able to have your opinion. We don't have to, we can agree to disagree. But there'll be sometimes where, okay, I agree with you, but I mean, I disagree with you, but I understand what you're saying. I understand where you're coming from. And there'll be people that want to argue with me. I'm like, dude. I'm not arguing with you. I can just block you, but I said, you know, I said what I said, and I'm going to stay on that. I'm an INFJ on top of me being a Hayoka. If I believe in a certain thing, I can understand where you're coming from, where you see that vibration, and I can understand why you say it, and I can agree with that. But that don't mean I'm going to agree with the different things that's going to make me disagree with my own thoughts. When it comes to certain things now, it, it can change me on different things, but if I know I'm dead set on something, there's nothing you can do to create a change within that if I know I that's what I believe in but I'm not going to argue with you about what I believe in because that means you're making a debate I, I'm not into that political stuff like that I, I just not me you know but there'll be different people that want to create a mockery out of you they want to make you look stupid they want to make you do that because there's something that really irritates them about your light it'd be something in hidden demons that they're you know People want to be comfortable with their lives. Like, if that's your story, I'll let you stick to it. You know, I have to be at that point. You know, and it will be different things. And I notice it, like, prime example. I, you know, more, like I said, I don't get into the government or political things. Especially, you know, when people going in for governor or mayor and stuff like that. And all these different things that come up. It's like, okay, it must be political time. Because you've seen where everybody coming out the trenches with everybody dirty laundry and stuff like that. And I'm just like... People are like, you're going to go vote? No, for what? You're going to pick who you want to pick anyway? And they're like, what do you mean? It's like, it ain't going to matter. It'll be like a, a million and some folks can pick this person. And you'll just pick this person just because. So what, what was the point on my vote? You know, you'll see where different things was rigged in certain ways. Just because they wanted to pick certain people. They already knew who they were going to pick regardless on who you were voted for. You know, and I, I felt like that. And that, that's my story. And I stick to it. You know. There will be different things that's coming into your life. You know, like I tell people that, you know, they'll email me or they'll DM me and they'll be like, Roz, you know, I'm starting my own new platform. You know, how, you know, do I get views? How do you do this? And it's just like with mine, I've had a lot of people standing in the way of mine. 
you know, but that did not stop me. You know, even time there have been times way long ago where I just wanted to give up on different things, but I kept it real. You know, I, I you know, it was just like when I was doing the video, what was like two weeks ago, where you actually see me in my tears. And, you know, there's been times that I wanted to give up on life. I've been times where I really wanted to give the enemy what they were, you know, what, what they were working on or whatever against me because that pain came so great. And God was like, no, this ain't your time. You are not going to allow, you're going to win this regardless, you know, and you're going through these different things into your life where it'll make you second guess things with yourself. And these are the times where you need to not do that period night there I mean there will be different times that you you gonna really try to understand why why me you know why do I have to go through these things why do I have to face these different things you know and it'll be just those times you know when you're when you get alone to talk with God he'll give you those answers you know and a lot of times they'll come in the most crazy ways you know it'll be different times because it'll be uh I was having a real sad day and it, it will be, you know, one of those different days, like, why me? You know, I feel so by myself. And it'll be that thought. And that's, you know, I forgot what it was. It was like a video I was watching. It was just so random. It came on this, you know, uh, Michael Jackson song came on, You're Not Alone. When I was like, I feel so by myself. And I was just crying and stuff like that. And this, you know, the song comes on, You're Not Alone. And I really start bursting out crying. And it'll be different things because you're really not. You know, you're going through these things for a reason. Regardless, you you may not understand what the reason is at this point, but it's going to make sense to you one day. But you're never going to find out if you give up. You know, there'll be different times. People, a lot of times people don't, you know, and I'll tell people, don't you dare give up. And I'll be going off on them, don't you dare give up. You know, if you need to take a break for a minute, you go ahead and take a break. But don't you, when you fall off that saddle, you get your butt right back on. As soon as I say that, it's 11-11. You know, you're going right back at it. You're going through different changes. You're going through things that you don't know is going on behind the scenes. You don't realize your enemies are placed there. It's like even when you're going through like a book of creating your own character of yourself. You, you, you really trying to understand I've been through this. I've been through that. I've been through this. And I got people that's trying to stand in my way. I got people talking bad about me. I got people that's trying to make other people look at me badly. And all those different things. You are becoming your own character. There are going to be different things where people are just not going to understand you. There are going to be different people that are just not going to like you. And there are going to be people that are just going to cheer you on. There are going to be different people that are going to admire you. But you have to understand that's even your enemies are a part of the God's plan. You have to understand understand that and it was just like are you serious you know i just think that i'm like why would god bring that in? because you really have to know if you would go through things smooth sailing things that come to you you wouldn't you wouldn't you know really appreciate them you wouldn't see them as a blessing into your life if people didn't try to stop you in any kind of way you wouldn't know that there's something must be important about me that they don't want me to come into contact with there might be something very big that's coming into my life they don't want me to have you going through these different things like if it was not some kind of barrier that keeps you from being the greatest part of yourself there you wouldn't know what you truly were capable of doing you really wouldn't understand your your potential of what was taking place into your life unless there was something that was there to try to give you some kind of resistance if you're going through that there'll be different times i'll go through so many different things about life and i you know i was always that type of person i had a really bad temper like uh I, I didn't have patience or i had people to steady try to you know try to put me in situations to pull me out of my character or peace or pulling you know just really trying to get me out of my character you know, and now it's like when I see stuff, I have to laugh it off. And it's just like, is this out of your control? Can you control it? No, I can control how I look at it. I control how I go about it. Okay, now you're starting to learn. We bring that person into your life to really shake some stuff up. Because God wants you to be able to see your true potential when you got so much stuff going against you. If you, you I mean, when you really have, when you ain't got haters out there, you ain't doing nothing good. I'm saying you when I'm telling you if you ain't got somebody trying to make you doubt yourself or there's different things that's coming in it could be I've been in that vibration why why do I put out so much positivity and I got so much BS coming out or why do I put down a million percent by helping other people people you know pay me back by stabbing me in my back or I give them that upliftment and you do something by neglecting me or I tell you what people did to hurt me and you pull the exact same thing that people did to hurt me when all I did is show you love and it's just like if I, you didn't have that kind of adversity going for you what would you really know what your potential is what will you really know where your strength and persistence is being dedicated to yourself 
You know, we pour into so many other people. And there's a lot of times you get a blessing when you got people that's actually reciprocating the things that you put out. You hold them and you hold them tight, like sticky, like glue type situation. And you hold them tight. But people that you putting all this in and they take, they got so much, you know, they, they taking so many deposits out. They ain't trying to invest something to add something in that, into that, that vibration. Those are the ones you got to let go. Regardless of how much love you got for that. That's why I'm telling you. It's just like this is all about the laws and love of life. I'm telling you. Because it's just like there'll be times when I've said it and I'll say it again. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll hear me say it. If you haven't gone through these different hardships into your life, would you really know what your strength was? If you really wanted something so bad into your life, you know, would you really understand why um, things will come in to try to make sure you don't get them? You really trying to make a build up a, a, a strong character for yourself, but you got people behind the scenes talking so much crap about you. Be cheesing in your face, like, girl, I'm for you, a man, I'm for you. And they be like, man, don't trust them. They do this, 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 and that. I'm telling you, they used to do this and that. People are so focused on your past, not even realizing your past is what made a brighter future for you. But they still stuck on that past. People still want to judge you from the mistakes you made a long time ago. But they ain't even they slow as I don't know what if you're trying to create their own self. You allow yourself to leave them with that past that you got. You know, it's like, yo, you remember this? I'm like, why do you keep bringing out my pain? Unless it's something funny that I can agree with. But if it's something you always try to bring out, like, that's the character I be. Because it's like, we, you, we've you, we all made mistakes. We have all did things in our life that we are not proud of, you know. And different things about that. Like I said, I've talked about myself. Because any time that God put me on that spotlight or that limelight to be able to do something, you are not about to bank off of something that I, I've done that I already told on myself about. I'll tell people, you probably find a mug shot or you probably find, you know, a news clipping or something like that about me. And it was just like, you still ain't going to make money off. Like, oh, Rise on set up here and told us about that. Like, Dad, she did? Yeah. But, you know, because it's not, it, 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 if you haven't grown from that spot, you know, like I've told people the most embarrassing things about myself because I'm always telling people there have been people in my life that have been related to me. And they were like, you know, if you become famous one day, you may be embarrassed of the things that happen. And it's just like, no, you were worried about your little character on about the stuff that I did that you know that there should have been no reason for me to have to do that because that's going to tell on you. But it's just the fact is if I did something about my life, nobody can judge you but God. There are so many people that want to nitpick about your little bone up in your drawer, dresser drawer, bone up under your pillow, and they got a whole cemetery in their daggone garage, backyard, closet, and everything else. But they want to judge you about one little bone here, one little femur here, you know, one little thing like that. But it's like, only God can judge me. How are you going to judge me? I'm like, oh, shoot. You still on that third or fourth, you know, uh, you know, it was like that third or fourth place, you still on your third or fourth husband. You know, you still good on this, or you still good in bed? You know, we little di different things like we can throw, we can throw, you know, haymakers all day. You know, we, you know, especially if you on the memes that they be having on Thanksgiving, they're like you on your third or fourth play, you on your third or fourth kid with your third or fourth baby daddy. We we, we we gonna talk about that. You know, different things like that. And it'll, it'll be just different things like that. But it's just at that time, you know, allow people to be in their own misery like that. Okay, you allow people to do that. But it's just at that point where you have to understand you're doing something good for people to always put resistance up but you have to understand that was a part of the plan anyway for you to be able to understand what is going on into your life from the deepest point deepest point into your life because there's something that's going on that you really have to understand you know and a lot of times we feel like i can't make it i can't take no more of this if i gotta say this for another day if i gotta deal with this another week if i gotta deal with this another month another another year i can't take it you have to understand if universe god your guides your ancestors different things like that has picked you they know you can override anything that has been placed to res make you have any some kind of resistance stand still or just give up walk away and go the other way they're already saying because they know they pick that right one because it's like when you have that brave soul but a stubborn mind or a stubborn heart they pick that one that's why they picked you you be like man i'm done with this i'm done with you you know how many times we don't probably went off on god and they had to come back with a tail between the legs. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm sorry. You were right. He said, I know. But you won't learn from that, that, that mess you would sit up here talking to me about. You know, we different, different things like that. But just being able to understand. 
you're going through things where it's just like when you know you are on the path of righteousness or whatever you want to call it you know being the best person and allowing yourself to be you know beautifully flawed you know and just being able to understand you love your flaws in so many different ways and just understanding your mistakes makes you creates a lot of character within you when you can allow yourself to learn appreciate your past and learn from the mistakes that you made in your life and the setbacks understand them setbacks created a powerful comeback for you you can fall off that 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 horse and you can jump back on there so quick you know and just being able to understand if there's not some kind of resistance in there you know it it, it just when blessings come you know and i you know there's so many times i had to tell myself if I didn't go through this, I really wouldn't have known how much potential I had within myself. If I didn't have people fold on me, the people that I looked up to, the people I admired, the people I loved, did not neglect me, leave me at that time. And it was just like I've had everything ripped away from me. Everything, you know, and I still had to be able to move forward. And it was just like I had to leave people behind that I, I mean, I, I held tight security on that I had to leave alone. And it was different things where people have played their fears into my life. Feeling like if I went through this, I wouldn't have been able to make it. I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to do that. So let me go ahead and put this on her. You know, let me put that on him. You know, and all these different things. And then when you see that you were some kind of strange way, some kind of miracle, you are able to survive that. Yes, it was a dark moment into your life where you're trying to understand these people don't even know me. And they placing stuff on my name like that. People placing death on me. You know, all these different things. And yet you are still here to survive to tell that. You know, there are so many people that are going through those vibrations. That's why I love when I was guided towards that video of where you, you, there's sometimes you get tired of being strong all the time. You know, and I tell people that, they're like, girl, you strong. I have weak moments. And that, that's where when you tell somebody they're really strong. When they're allowing you to be able to see that vulnerable side of them. Because there's so many people that act like they can't be phased. They can't be touched. And people feel like being, being able to cry is the most weakest thing possible. No, that's strength. When you're allowing people to see, I'm sensitive. You know, when we're we who we are, we feel things at a deeper vibration that it is it, like sometimes I'll be like, dang, I hate being an empath. I hate feeling a lot of things. I hate coming across where people I see where they're laughing and crying at the same time. Or I see people that are just going ahead and projecting and I feel their heart breaking in the most worst form of possible. So they project all the most evilest things on people because they don't want to get in touch with reality on hey, this needs to be fixed. Hey, this needs to be healed. And you all you can do is just send prayers to people like that that become that that, that lets you know you are something that cannot be forced faked or any kind of way you know anything that can't you cannot be cloned that's why they picked you in some kind of way because when people wish the worst on you and do the worst on you they'll be it'll be normal it'd be easy to wish that stuff back on them i almost had to catch myself wish that stuff back on them but when you want to keep continue getting your blessings you don't do people like they do you you don't do people how they do. You ain't got to sit up here and, and spotlight people's character. Because eventually people going to start seeing through that. And they're going to see the true intention. Oh, you don't like that person. Or you intimidated by that person. Or you bitter because that person left you. Or that be, be bitter because they, they see how you really are. And they finally pick them instead of picking you all the time. Because you were only picking self. You know, all those different things. You're going to go through moments of that. Don't allow just because it, people don't like you. There's going to be people that are going to love you. For what you're doing. There are going to be people that are going to admire you. And scream out to the trenches like. Hey that's my dog. That man right there. They have showed me so many different sides of themselves. I can't even speak. There will be different times like people. Like Rosa you know so so many faucets of yourself. Through a video. That made me feel like I'm, I'm like. I got multiple personalities. And no disrespect towards anybody who deal with stuff like that. But it's like I show so many sides of myself. And I'm very transparent with all of them. I've been through stuff. There will be different things where people know what I've been through. And they have high regards and respect to me. Because the fact is I'm still moving. There are some people that was intimidated by that. And I still love everybody the same. 
But when you have gone through things where people are coming out there, you intimidating the mess out of them. I always try to ask God in the universe. When people are so intimidated and fear about me, why do they keep on trying to piss me off? If they really knew the power that I really hold, they really wouldn't be touching me like that because I got power of life and death on my tongue. I can really just really wreak havoc in their life if I really wanted to. But I leave you to do that because I don't want to be that type of person that have to live with that type of karma. That's why they do that. Because they know that you wouldn't do something where they, they, they think they know you. They don't really know you the way they, they know of you, but they don't understand the depths of you. And that's really, really where a lot of people mistake is. But it's okay. Because a lot of times, you know, real recognize real when fake walk in the room. So a lot of people just don't want to deal with that. And that's okay. You know, because God knows. I mean, me and God like this. Me and universe like this. Me and my guys, my family, they all passed on. We like this. And they were like, Rosalind, you can really do some damage. Yeah, I could. And I'm glad I'm not because if I was that person, I, I you know, I've even had people talk about how I do black magic. <laughs> oh, people are like, baby, I'm telling you, if I did, there'll be bodies dropping back and forth because I, I know my stuff. I got people that's behind me that got people behind them. Then all I got to do is just call them up. And it'll be people, I ain't even got to touch you and you fold right on over. And I can really do some stuff because I've seen when I got mad how things can really happen and I, I could really flip somebody's life upside down and I'm just like and that was years ago I've been so enlightened I've been learning so much different things by that time so it's just like if you're reaping through different things and you thinking I'm going you know I'm placing something on your person baby you doing that to yourself whatever you pushed out to somebody you just getting that back in return except you know God is showing you this is karma right now Karma is really showing showing face right now. And that's not that's why they always tell you wish good on somebody, even your enemies. I wish you love and blessings. That's why I always tell people, if you have any kind of hidden intentions, you come in here, you know, I'm just sending that back to you yourself. I'm sending love and blessings to you. And you know, I just don't have time for that. But you know, you're going through different things into your life, you know, and allow you to keep moving forward. Be true to yourself. You know, before you even try to be true to other people and be fraudulent to your own self, you be true with self first. Okay, you show your love to self first. You know, and then it's just, a, you don't start having a, a big divide when you start doing that. When you start choosing you first, because a lot of times with us as empaths, we choose other people and we leave ourselves with nothing. We pour into so many other people's cups and they ain't pouring back and then when we need something to drink, we're parched. <laughs> we're really parched because we don't have nothing else to drink and that's what it's telling you you know allow yourself to choose self first allow you to love self first you know because you're going to be out here when when god puts you on a path you have to understand you have to be able to expect the unexpected you're going to be doing different things where it's going to make you question a lot of things about yourself and this is a, a time don't you question nothing anytime you got a question or curiosity you go to that man you go to the spiritual daddy upstairs you know, you go to your spiritual family that's behind you, that's protecting you, because you're always protected. But you allow yourself to keep moving forward. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Would love to give a post notification shout out to Kumar, uh, you, uh, Karnish, Karnish. I hope I pronounced that right. I apologize if I didn't. Serena Da, much love to you. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, Ethan means much love to you as well. Adre uh, Adreta, uh, Andrea, Kelly, much love to you as well. Good from hearing from you, sis. Much love to you. And a girl, much love to you as well. Welcome to the fam. Thank you for all the new subscribers and the love and support you've been sending me. The emails and stuff like that. And I'm not responding for you to you yet. I'm going ahead and giving you a post notification shout out. Don't don't think I forgot about you or whatever. I just been it, it's just been really crazy lately. But I do appreciate the love and support that y'all been giving me. The new subscri subscribers as well. Uh, building up our soul family is truly truly a blessing. So thank you so much for the love and support. I always leave my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking um just being able to help evolve towards the truth of our, our our path of purpose you know just being able to understand you know being able to talk to people without any judgment i'll tell people i, I don't i let god judge you the only things i will not deal with is if you don't touch little kids you know harm pets and you don't hurt uh you know senior citizens those are the things i don't judge people but i just don't deal with you if you done done some stuff like that i just can't but you know other than that i try to help out the best way i can 
um, uh, with others, you know, being able to help understand, just give you a deeper path of purpose. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. I help out the best way I can. And if you're interested on my podcast or even doing podcasts, please, you know, you know, hit me up. Um, if you're interested in doing that, been having a call in to do that because I know a lot of people have been getting called, hey, you need to do a podcast. You know, hey, you need to start doing your own vlogging and stuff like that because your truth needs to be heard. You have a story that many people that can resonate with and just being able to help know people that you have overcome a lot of things that people still struggle with you don't know how many people it can resonate with the situations that you're really speaking on which is truly needed right now in this life you know we're we're trying to make the world a different thing and it's just like we can't just do that with one person but you you know just being with one person within ourselves but you know you can impact just one person or even two or even maybe five to ten and you really don't know how that can hit viral to be able to say you know i listen to this person man you need to listen to them they are really real you know they really impact my life in a beautiful way you need to go ahead and hit listen to them you really just don't know how your your presence can really go viral and impact people in a very beautiful way so you know you know let your story be heard you know that's why I love being able to speak to y'all about different things you know I'm learning about myself every day healing you know and just being able to vibe with y'all on that vibration is really truly a blessing and just being able to be transparent with that but I also have my like I said my podcast you know I put out my YouTube uh, not my YouTube shorts, but my Instagram shorts on my YouTube shorts, you know, just be able to have a good laugh or sending prayers out to you, you know, give you an upliftment. Like I said, I did well with Queen uh, Her- uh, Herbie. I think that's her name. I don't know. She done changed the name like two, three different times. I'm like, God, dog, Queen. My, it was like my girl on Instagram. You know, she does really uh, good videos. She, you know, can sting her butt off. And then she do a lot of funnies. And, you know, I love her to death for that. But I try to share her videos and stuff like that on here. And, you know, just giving a big laugh. You know, this is what hair hey, do. We, we grow through humor. We, you know, we speak our truth through humor. But also being serious and loving is at the same time as well. And being bold about it. So, you know, we're all like that so you know if you really want to be on that on my, my channel section of the community I really share a lot of those different things you know like I said I, I do empath memes you know just give an upliftment from fruit of food of thought friendly minder and just different things just to open up my day by you know giving different things to give you a reminder you're not alone you know upliftment if you're doing this or if there's different changes that's going on in the atmosphere that's really you know hitting you and you're trying to understand what's going on oh I trust and believe I put those out there as well you know because we went through uh what was it Alliance Gate we went through another one um I know a new moon god dog I think it's coming if it ain't already happened you know already I don't know I gotta look I, I'm not even sure because there's so many different changes because I had to go ahead and, and you know reset and recharge for myself and I'm pull back for you know because I've been gone for like two weeks so you know just being able to sit with self for a minute and reevaluate you know uh, you know that story but I hope you know you are able to resonate with this one you know um if you uh if you were interested in a podcast you know hit me up if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation cash app is there in the description box below as well and whatever you're trying to manifest into your life and fruition you know hey I'm sending you you know whatever vibes you're needing to be able to stay consistent with yourself believe in yourself on in any forms even when things are just very doubtful in your life you keep going you know take it to god take it to somebody you really trust you know that's really going to uplift you that really wants to see the best come out of you even when you're feeling your worst way you know just go ahead and keep doing that and stay consistent if you got to take a pause for the car you do that but if you fell off you got to come back you know if somebody throw you to the wolves come back leading a pack okay so you keep going you know never never sleep on yourself stay woke you know the devil and enemy know that you got high potential you got a brightest light and they're trying to do a dim it and just make you second guess at all time they may be you know trying to convince you to give up today because the blessings of doors come open tomorrow and i'm telling you you keep going you keep going you keep moving because you got something that's really going to impact the world one day so much love to you even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way as well as um you know is you you know just because you're doing it just to be able to uplift somebody and you're doing that for no apparent reason it's going to take you even further much love to be responsible and being safe in everything you do and i hope you have a lovely prosperous week you know anything that's opening doors for abundance and prosperity i'm sending so much of that towards your way so much love to you peace namaste shalom i say god bless much love bye